is looking for the truth. People are tired of lies. We as followers of Jesus know the truth because Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. But even as we tell people the truth, that Jesus is the truth, he is the way, he is the life, what will back us? When people look at us and question us, how will we answer them? You know what the secret is? The secret is the baptism of the Holy Spirit, the power from on high. Jesus told his disciples, wait till you're clothed with power from on high. We as followers of Jesus, we do not live in our own strength. We are called to live in the power of the Holy Spirit. John, uh, Luke 4 verse 1, it tells us Jesus was full of the Holy Spirit. In Luke 4 4, Jesus returned to Galilee in the power of the Holy Spirit. Because he was filled with the power of God, as he spoke, there was authenticity in his words. People were able to believe him. In Acts chapter 6, verse 3, when they had to choose seven men, they chose men who were full of the Holy Spirit. You and I, as followers of Jesus, we too need to remember that. Yes, we love Jesus. We may read our Bible, we may pray, but the secret of living a power-packed life, a life that will have an impact on people around, a life that will make a difference when we share the good news with people is the power of the Holy Spirit. That's why Jesus said, you will receive power from on high and you will be my witnesses. So this day, I would like to challenge each one of us. Will you take time to spend time in God's presence? To seek and hunger for the power of the Holy Spirit, where we will be full of His power, that when we speak, people will know that we have a word from our Heavenly Father. People will recognize that this is not a man-made conversation. This is not some new idea or new thought. This is from the heart of God and their lives will be changed. But the secret, the task lies in your hands and my hands. As followers of Jesus, are we walking in the power of the Holy Spirit? Are we walking in step with the Holy Spirit? Are we seeking to say, Lord, I want your power to be so much on me that even as I walk on the roads, even as I travel, people will know there goes a child of God. That is what the early church was like. That is what India needs to see today. That is what our beloved Calcutta needs to see. Followers of Jesus, disciples of Jesus, filled with the power of the Holy Spirit, walking with that authority, with that confidence and boldness, knowing that we follow the truth and we will stand for the truth. So I would like to leave a challenge with you Wait in the presence of the Lord. Seek His face till you are filled with His precious power. That you will walk in step with the Holy Spirit. Let 2024 be a year of difference in your life. God bless you.